Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you the algorithm for string matching, Northmore spread. I will simply call it the KMP algorithm. String matching has many applications. A typical example is bioinformatics. When you have to detect a pattern, for example, GAT in a DNA sequence, it would take a long time if we were just using a naive algorithm. It is an inefficient way to see if one string occurs within another. It checks whether there is a match at the beginning of the sequence, and if not, it moves up one place and checks again. This behavior is repeated until it has reached the end of the sequence. It is clear to see that the naive algorithm is not an optimal solution for this problem. An algorithm that will perform better for solving this kind of problem would be the KMP algorithm. I will go through and explain the protocol of the KMP algorithm. As we can see, the algorithm contains two phases: a preprocessing phase and a searching phase. The preprocessing phase uh, uh, creates a prefix table of size n, which is the length of the pattern we want to match. The prefix table will tell us the length of the longest substring that match with the prefix of the pattern. When a mismatch is detected, we will already know some of the characters in the pattern have been matched. We take advantage of this information to avoid matching the character we know already matched during the searching phase. Let us go through this example. The first substring A doesn't have a perfect, so we automatically write down pi 1 is 0. We start from pi 2. We compare the substring B with the string perfect A. As we can see, a is not equal to b, so we write down pi 2 is 0, and then move on to the next substring. The substring c is not equal to the pref string prefix a. We write down 0 in pi 3, and then move on to d. d is also not equal to the prefix, so we write down 0 in pi 4, and move on to the substring a. It is equal to the prefix. So we re-increment k to 1 and write down 1 in pi 5. And we then check the substring a, b against the perfect a, b. It also matched. So we increment k again to 2. And we write down 2 in pi 6. Then we checked whether the substring a, b, d is equal to the perfect a, b, c. It is a mismatch, so we write down pi 7 is 0. We now have a completed the perfect table pi. Once the prefix table is done, it can be used in the searching phase. Let, let us go through and explain the pseudocode. The index i shows the position of the string t. We go through all the characters in t in order, and we compare t i against the element of the pattern p. q is the number of the character matched. If q and the character matched, then Q is incremented and it continues to the next character in the text and the pattern and makes another comparison. If current character is mismatch, we will check the perfect table pi. Q will equal to pi Q. By the way, the I will remain the same. In other words, if a mismatch is detected, the number of times you shift the pattern to the right is equal to q, which is the number of characters that have been matched successfully, minus pi q. i does not change. This shows that the algorithm does not backtrack. This will be demonstrated clearly in the example I'm going to show you now. We start by comparing each character in the string t and the pattern p. If the current character if current character is successfully matched, we continue to the next character until a mismatch is detected. As we can see, there are six characters A, B, C, D, A, B successfully matched, but the blank space and the D are mismatched. So uh, now we check the perfect table. Pi 6 are uh, equal to, twice we shift the pattern P to the right. 6 minus 2, 4 times. We now, the, we now know that the two characters A, B are already successfully matched, but the blank space and the C are mismatched, so we check the perfect table. Pi 2, 
which is equal to 0, plus we shift the button to the right to minus 0 two times. We Now we can see the first character in P is a mismatch, so we just shift one times to the right. Now we compute the character one by one, as we can see, six characters, A, B, C, D, A, B, are successfully matched and to C and D, which are mismatched, so we check the perfect table, pi 6, which is 2, and shift the pattern to the right, 6 minus 2, 4 times. We continue to make the comparisons until we find that the final character of the pattern P are matched. Then we can tell that there is the same pattern exists in the string. If we want to keep searching, we just move the pattern p to the right 7 minus 0 7 times. Now let's look at the time complexity of the algorithm. The total running time of the KMP algorithm is n plus n. This is because of the perfect table of the KMP algorithm can be computed in m space and time before the searching phase because the preprocessing phase runs through each character in the pattern once, which is the length m. It takes n time to go through the searching phase as it goes through each character in the, of the text t once, which is the length of n. The time complexity for the worst k and the average k are the same. An example of a worst case scenario is when it works like a naive algorithm and compare every character in the text once only. Um, the KMP algorithm works best when the alphabet set is small. This is the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoy it.